Hello everybody, I'm Burnage, and today I'm bringing you the 11 easiest demons I could find. I'm not including the Lightning Road, the Nightmare, or Demon Mix because everyone knows and talks about those already. I'm also not doing any Secret Path Demon shortcuts because... I don't know, I'm just not. In this video, I'm just going to show you some tips in specific parts of the levels. And I just hopped into practice mode real quick for the footage, so it's probably not going to be optimal. So if you want a full walkthrough of each level, it would be better to find a dedicated video for each one of these. These aren't really in any particular order. I tried to sort them from easiest to hardest, but that's probably going to be different for everyone based on which vehicles you're good at. So let's get into it. The first level is Ice of Dawn. There is a lot of flying in this one, so if you're bad at that, this one might be tough for you. Jump somewhere in the middle of these gravity pads. Delay this jump with the far right orb until you're about as far right as you can be, or you won't clear the spikes. You can land behind the saw here to make this tight corridor free, then it's just a bunch of tight flying. Hug the walls where you can to make things easier. Make sure to fly high at the exit to clear the spikes. You can hug the roof to make it free. I don't think there's any more tips I can give here. The rest of the level is just going to be big on memory, with a lightly tight UFO section at the end. My second level is Demon Jumper. Jump as late as possible here. Here I found it best to hold jump as soon as you start falling, and then release as soon as you notice your jump. If you don't jump late enough here, you die. Same with here. You can hold to make this tight part free. You can roll over this gap, as well as this gap, then memory till the end. The third level is XYZ Step. This level has some tight flying parts. Hold jump before you land to make sure it goes off immediately before you hit the gravity pad. The ball part will probably take a little practice, as it has a lot of memory and quick timing. There is some tight flying here, which could prove hard for some people. You can hold as soon as you drop here to clear these spikes, and you can keep holding until you reach here. Then more tight flying that could prove tough for some. Make sure you go into this portal sort of low. If you don't hit the pad on the far left, you die. All these jumps can be done as soon as you touch the ground. This part seems easy, but will require some practice. If you don't hit this pad far enough to the right, you die. This flight part is dark, but it has an orange trail for you to follow. Enter the portal too low, and you die. The fourth level is Ice Cave. You need to hit the first gravity orb to the right, or you hit the spike. Hit this gravity orb and hold to avoid activating the orbs on the ground. Continue holding until you reach the top. Just a bunch of memory through here. You can slide right over this gap before you start jumping. The fifth level is crazy. You can't hold for this jump or you hit the spike, but as soon as you make the next jump, you hold for two jumps. Jump early enough to miss the pad, and hold to jump over it, and continue holding for the next jump. Here are some really awkward parts that will take some practice.
A short auto section that will drop you back into action suddenly, so memorize where it ends. Then just more awkward jump timing until you reach the end. Sixth is Radioactive Demon. You have to jump into both of these portals for it to work correctly. This orb section will probably take some practice. Most of this level is memory. If you jump too early, you miss the portal and die. Don't hit this blue orb. You can land here and just fall through this part. This orb section will take a little practice. Jump off this pillar into the portal. And then some slightly tight UFO to finish. Seventh is Firewall. This level is a visual mess, but it's kind of short. You will probably spend most of your time practicing the first few sections. This section is just blind timing, but it's short. Jump shortly after landing, hit the orb, and then jump again to the right of the platform. You can ignore the green arrow, you don't need it. Everything here will require a bit of practice until you finish the spider section. Then the worst of the level is behind you. Make sure not to press anything here until your ship starts to dip, or you will end up hitting the blade on your way up. Go under this blade, it looks like background to me. If you don't stay on the roof as a ball here, you die in the transition. There are some tight jumps with Robot here, and will probably take a little bit of practice. Then is the easy boss fight. Just be in the right place at the right time. I like to go bottom, to middle, to top. down to the bottom for the blast, stay there for the laser, and then go to the top for the second laser, and you're done. The eighth level is Platinum Adventure, which is another popular easy demon you might have heard of. Remember the portal baits, and just always fly to the blue one. This ball part might take a little practice. It's a little bit of a visual eyesore. This UFO part, you need to anticipate the movement of the bars. If you full jump here, you die. The ground and the roof here look safe, but they aren't. And that's all memory parts until the end. The ninth level is Electro Rand. A lot of troll orbs and portals here, so it takes a lot of memory and practice. Hold jump as soon as you hit the second gravity pad to clear the spikes. Hit this orb too early and you die. It's a very awkward jump that will take practice. Hold through the bricks here. You can go through the middle brick and still be fine. There's some tight flight here. Remember where you can hug walls. This orb section will take some practice. The first ball jump is kind of blind. Switch to the roof here, and then more memory parts, and an awkward UFO part that you will want to practice. Don't hit this orb, or this one, and end. Tenth is Maximum Risk. Hit the orbs early and hold jump for two jumps. Jump right as you hit the ground here. You need to slide into these orbs. You can hold right after going through this portal to clear the saw. Right after this drop, start to hold. 
you can keep holding all the way till the blue orb. It will make the timing to hit the blue orb a little tight though. Hold right after hitting the blue orb to clear the next saw jump. Hit this orb low or you die. This ball part will take a little practice. This jump here is tight. You want to be centered on the block, ideally. Hold as soon as you start falling for each of these triple spike jumps. As well as this one. The final level is Impulse. If you hit the yellow orb early, you can skip the pink orb. If you want to use the pink one, you will have to delay the yellow orb. You can just fall into the gap here. This section has a ton of jumps that you will want to be holding beforehand, so that you jump immediately upon landing. There is a lot of memory, so it will take some practice. You can hold through this part to clear the saws, release before you hit the spikes. Lots of sneaky safe spots in this ball part, it will take practice. And memory. This next part has some awkward timings. Hit these two orbs very quickly to line everything up. Don't hit this orb. This part will be awkward if you didn't get the timing in the earlier section right. One last orb to finish the level, and that's all 11 levels. I hope this guide was helpful in clearing some easy demons. Like and subscribe to let me know I did good. Comment to tell me I didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.